Hello everyone, my name is Becca and welcome to Yellow Cat Studios. Today I'm going to be making some fairy wings, uh, specifically Tinkerbell's wings. So I'm just going to jump right in. So I have 16 gauge silver wire and 20 gauge silver wire. The 16 gauge wire I'm going to be using for the outside structure of the wings, possibly if I have enough for some of the inside as well just to give it a little bit more stability and then the 20 gauge wire will be for some of the line work inside the wings. So to do this I have drawn out the wings on a big piece of paper the size I want them. I've already started one wing just to make sure I knew what I was doing. So basically I'm going to take the wire and use my drawing as a template to shape the wire into the wings. And for mine I'm doing the upper wing and the lower wing in two separate parts just to make it a little bit easier down the road. So like I said I want to make sure I have enough of my thicker wire for the outside structure so I'm gonna do the other wing um, the same as I did these two, and I'll show you how I did that. Once I've gone all the way around my shape, I take my excess wire and I wrap it around where I began the wing. And I just use some good pliers to make sure it's really tight around. And now I do the same for the smaller section of the wing and I'm going to do just a little bit of excess so that I can attach it to the bottom of the upper wing. Okay, so now I've got two of my outer wing structures. Um, I'm going to start on the inside details of the upper wings because I don't have a lot of my 16 gauge wire left so I want to focus on the upper wings for now. So I'm going to use the 16 gauge wire to make the big swirl for both upper wings and see how much I've got left from there. Okay so I have the big spiral shaped um, to attach it to my outer edge of the wings, I'm going to use this small jewelry wire. Um, I'm not sure what gauge this is, but it is smaller than my 20 gauge. Um, and I'm just going to take that and wrap it around both wires, and hopefully that will hold them together enough. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks with the jewelry wire attaching the spiral to the outer edge. So now, now I'm going to go in and do these other lines with my 20 gauge wire. Alright, so I kind of gave up on working on the wings the other day. Um, Working with the wire is very hard on your fingers, so if you are doing that, just be mindful of that. Maybe use something, gloves, uh, rubber thimbles, I'm not too sure what would help, but working with the wire is tough on the fingers. 
So I've been working on the wings off camera for a couple days, just when I had some spare time. So I have the upper portion of both wings done, or the wire parts done anyways. So I was just going to talk through things that kind of made it easier. So when you're shaping the wire on your drawing, definitely have some tape handy because as you're shaping it, it's easiest to tape it down as you go. And then once, say for the outer edge, you have the whole edge done and attached to itself, it's easier to kind of flatten it and shape it as one big piece. Um, and same with the inside, just taping the outer edge down so you can shape the inside how you need it and tape the inside as you go so that it doesn't shift. And then, like I said, I attached pieces together with thinner jewelry wire. And I just used this in spots where I didn't want to wrap the main wire around the other one, where I just kind of wanted it to flow together. So you can see like these little pieces, I would wrap around the other wires, but this one, I wanted them to just kind of flow together. So I just used the jewelry wire to attach those together. So this does take some time. It gets easier as you go and you kind of get into the rhythm of it. Um, definitely use pliers to help tighten up um, the wire when you're wrapping it around. It just cleans up the edges so you don't have wires kind of poking out and it's easier to use the pliers than using your fingers to wrap the very end. So yeah, I have the two upper portions of the wings done. Um, I did end up taking out a lot of the lines from my sketch. I didn't do all of them in wire because it was just taking a long time and I'm worried that I'm going to run out of wire <laughs> before I finish the bottom sections. So I'm going to finish the inner parts of the bottom sections just off camera because it's just a lot of the same using the wire to trace my drawings and wrapping it around each other. So I'm going to do that off camera and then once those are done I'm going to show you how to do the next step which is using the cellophane. Alright, so I have all the wire pieces done and I just tested one with the cellophane. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think I like how it looks. <laughs> so, even on ca it looks worse on camera because it's reflecting all of the light from my window. But, I don't know if it was how I did it. If it's the cellophane that I used, I don't like how little you can see the wire. Um, I don't like all of the texture. I think that's from my uh, spray adhesive. Because honestly, I like how it looks with just the wire. I think it looks nicer because you can see the shapes in it. Whereas with this one, it just reflects all the light. And I think with maybe a different style wing, um, it wouldn't be so bad. But because I have all the detail in it for Tinkerbell, I think I'd rather have it so you can actually see. But I will explain how to do this method if you are making wings and want to use cellophane. Um, I've seen a couple different ways of doing it. Lay out a piece of cellophane, spray it with adhesive, put your wire on, and then put another layer of cellophane on top, and then stack some books on it to keep it flat and let it dry. And then once it's dry, you iron it. So I've seen people use like tin foil on top to iron it. Uh, some say to use just paper. I was using just some uh, scrap fabric 
Um, and I didn't have my iron too hot because I didn't want the wire to get too hot um, and like melt everything. <laughs> but basically ironing it just kind of fuses the cellophane together. Now I don't know if maybe skipping the adhesive step might help because you can't really see it but there's a few spots where I think the adhesive pooled um, and then ironing it it just didn't work quite as well so maybe skipping the adhesive and just ironing the cellophane uh, would work a little bit better. Um, and then when you are finished ironing you trim away the edges. I've seen some people burn the edges to just kind of seal them off. Um, so you can do that if you want. Be very careful if you do. <laughs> but you can also really carefully with the edge of your iron just hit the cellophane close to the wire um, without anything over top and that'll kind of fuse it together. You will still need to leave a little edge so that it doesn't come apart right next to the wire. So I think with mine I'm just going to attempt to remove the cellophane. Hopefully I can without ruining the wire. Um, and then go from there. Another way that you could make wings that I think could be quite a bit easier because you wouldn't work with wire is using a good cardstock instead of wire. So draw out your shape, uh, cut out the edges, cut out all of the parts inside. You would need two cutouts uh, for each piece. So you need a cutout and then layer of cellophane and then the same cutout on the other side so you sandwich the cellophane in between the cardstock. Um, but that way you wouldn't have to iron it either and the cardstock would be easier to use than shaping the wire. So I'm gonna remove the cellophane and clean up the wire and then I will check back in when I figured out how to attach everything together. <laughs> so I've gone in and put crazy glue on all of my attached pieces just so that they don't move around. And my next step is to attach the lower wing to the upper wing. And to do this, I'm using duct tape. So I need to attach both wings at the bottom here, and I also need to attach another wire up here just to give it a little bit more stability. Alright, so I have the wings attached to each other, um, but... <laughs> There's going to have to be kind of a part two um, when I finish the rest of my Tinkerbell outfit because currently the wings do not work how I want them to. So this style, this part, this U shape down here is supposed to tuck into like a corset and then just have the wings like that but the wings are very top heavy so they don't really sit well on their own um, with the cosplay I'm currently making I'm not actually using a corset so I will be attaching the wings to the back of my dress um, so I should be able to have it so that there's more structure up higher so that the wings kind of just sit where they need to 
When I do wear them with a corset in the future, I'll have to figure out how to do something in between the wings up a little bit higher so that they don't kind of flop around a lot. I could potentially use um, clear string, um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just keep that in mind if you are making wings. Don't make them too top heavy because they might not sit right if it's just tucked into a corset. That being said, I do really like how the actual wings look. I think they look quite accurate. Um, so like I said, there's going to be kind of a part two making the rest of the cosplay and then kind of showing you how I get the wings to sit nicely uh, with the outfit. I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. If you make your own wings, uh, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see them. I love seeing all of the fairy wings that people make. If you liked this video, give it a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe for more cosplay content, especially coming in October. And I hope you have a good day, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!